Greetings, people of the internet. This is Cardiax, and today is, again, another video. I decided that I'm going to just go ahead and start doing videos every other day, give or take. Because just daily is just kind of getting a little difficult. Mostly because I'm kind of going to be busy this week. So I probably won't have the time to get it done. Anyway, um, for this illustration, it's more of a practice thing, but for this uh, day's video, I am trying to get a feel for drawing my character Isla uh, in cat poses, because she is an alien and she is a shapeshifter. So when I start coloring the cat in with green instead of brown or white or black or whatever normal coat colors cats have, that's why. Because it's supposed to be Isla as a cat. And I decided I wanted her to be a very fluffy cat, so I had to take the picture that I used for reference that I um, um, chose to actually render out as a, uh, in color and everything, I had to take it and add a whole lot more fluff. Which, these are just some kind of like warm-up sketches, I guess, and I was having so much trouble with the Isla version, because the legs were just, uh, I needed to practice drawing legs more often. Even though I, I almost always do full body drawings, and I just always tend to draw the legs stretched out instead of bent, especially from that perspective. Anyway, there's the uh, sketch now that I end, ended up coloring later. My cats have actually done this before. They've done that pose, and it's very... Um, it just makes me wonder how they haven't broken their spines yet. Cats and dogs they are just so much more flexible than people. Anyway, I was trying to translate it into a more, um, uh, something more possible for the human spine. <laughs> so, I don't think it would be very comfortable for her, but I think she could possibly make this work. Probably be sore the next day. Regardless, I had some fun drawing this. For multiple reasons. My cat is wanting attention, of course, because she always wants attention when I'm working on a video. What is with you? Why? Why do you do this? Why can't I have a few hours of peace? Give me your tail. I'm talking to the cat, by the way, if that's not obvious. Kitty kitty. Um, <laughs> I had a bit of fun with this. I. I want to try more interesting poses like this. It's like normally I just draw a character standing or sitting, but this time she's lying down and her arms are very uh, unusually posed as compared to what I usually do. And of course there's the obvious slight perspective and whatnot. The idea was that she's going to be in a bed, but I didn't actually render out the bed. I just kind of implied that she was on something that had Sheets. Also, I am very sleepy. I don't know why, but I slept for a long time and I'm still tired. I don't think it's that weird, though, because it always seems to happen when I sleep too long. Just wake up and be tired for a while. And, uh, uh, yeah. I've got stuff to do tomorrow and I really don't want to do it. But I, I, I will have to. I gotta figure out how to go about it. It involves my dogs. and Yeah, I don't usually take them places. And when I do, it's usually the vet. So, I mean, it's not that that I'm worried about. It's what the vet wants me to do. In regard of checking their health. I don't really want to come out and say it, but you can probably guess if you have a dog. Something. Cat. Poop. I have cats. And I have dogs. 
I have a burb. So I have all three bases covered. Uh, huh. Someone, someone just like, be my pillow. <laughs> I imagine this cat would, would be very much like a pillow. It's so fluffy. I just I just like how fluffy cats look. So that's why I wanted her to be a fluffy cat. And uh, of course she's green. She hasn't quite figured out how to change the color of her uh, fur or whatever when she changes to another animal. So, um... I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm just so tired. <sighs> I need to start using more references because references kind of help a lot in terms of it gives my brain a chance to not have to think so much about what I'm drawing. So it's very, very helpful. I highly recommend it. And uh, I need to learn. I I liked, in one of my sketchbook videos, I had done a whole heck of a lot of wolf studies, and I loved doing those, and a bunch of them, I really liked how they turned out, but I'm a little stuck, again, on their anatomy, so I need to start doing more wolf um, studies. And I am petting a cat while it's walking around on the floor. So if my voice sounds weird, that's why. You just boot her in the eye. Oops. And here we go with starting with Isla. Actual humanoid Isla. One of the things I wanted to work on while doing this was uh, playing with other tools that I don't normally do. Usually I stick with the light pencil tool in Ranger Studio 5, and um, I use that for sketching and for uh, adding highlights and uh, shadows because of how soft the edge is. But I use the mapping pen typically for laying down flat color as well as the G pen for adding flat color to the hair because you can get a really nice tapered line with that with very little effort. Um, what else do I do? Use I occasionally will use other tools like the crayon or the pastel tools, but very rarely. And this time I used. A transparent watercolor tool, which that was for the cat anyway. I typically use the same. I use the same tools that I always do for the human version, Isla. So I need to. I need to practice. I need to figure out what all Manga Studio has to offer because I just kind of feel so limited. And it's nice changing things up because then you're out of your comfort zone. You can learn things. It's very nice. And art is always a continued lesson. It never ends. So you're always learning. If you do it right, that is. One day I want to be able to render things in a realistic way, but today is not that day. Today is a tired, I just want this done kind of day. I really just want to go back to bed. <laughs> Straight up honesty, I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to grab this cat that is that keeps booping my hand with its forehead, and use it as a pillow. It would hate that to no end, but I would enjoy squeezing a cat. Let me know if I get too weird too soon. Uh, um. Maybe I should start asking like questions related to the video at the end of the uh, video so I can um, have some kind of prompt for a comment, maybe. 
I know a lot of YouTubers do that, and I like it. I'm not sure entirely what this question would be. Yes, I do. Do you have a cat? If so, do, does your cat drive you insane like mine does? Mine do. I have three. I have three cats. And they're cute. But they drive me insane. They're still huggable, though. Uh, how much they want to be hugged, though, varies between cat. <laughs> kitty kitty. Yes. Fuzzy fuzzy kitty. <clears throat> I'm getting cat hair all over my hand. Because they shed like crazy. Hello, kitty. Should I do sketching? Get, get, scared? Look. Should I start recording my sketches? Because, like, I mean, in sketchbook videos. Should I record the drawings or should I just do it as I have been doing? Because it's it's just easier for me to just record the painting part because you know drawing tends to make my camera shake and it makes the recording a little worse. I don't know. I use a pretty simple clamp to hold up my camera. Oh my gosh, cat! And it, it tends to shake a lot when I'm recording. I don't think people have really noticed, but I mean, I have. The video's almost over, I think. I'm so sleepy. I wonder if I... This would be the time to test if I could manage to pull off this pose that Isla is doing. In the comments, tell me, um, can you do this pose? Does it hurt your back or anything, any part of you? I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm not flexible. I'm whacking a cat here. I like playing with the cat's ears. They're just so triangular and very easy to um mess with, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. I guess that's it then. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry about my tired babbling. And if you liked this, there will be links on the screen for you to click. I, uh, I guess that's it. See you later. Bye.